let's move into the Eastern Conference standings. We're going to go really quickly. Um, start from the bottom. Connor, go first. Just all the way through. All right. I'll try to go through them quick. So, 14th, Inter Miami. Then above them, FCC, Montreal, DC, Chicago, RBNY, Toronto, NYC, Nashville, New England, Philly, Atlanta, Orlando, Columbus. Okay, we'll talk about them after. Okay. My next one, I have Montreal at the bottom, Inter Miami above them, DCU, FCC, RBNY in 10th, Chicago at 9th, uh, New York City in 8th, just missing out on that last spot, um, Atlanta, Nashville, Toronto, Orlando, Philly, Columbus, and the New England Revolution at the top of the East. I told you they're going to win the Sporter Shield this year. Um, anything that stands out to you that we talked about, why you wouldn't put them where? Um, you know, why you have NYC making the, the playoffs or anything like that? Because I think we're relatively close in terms of who makes the playoffs and who doesn't outside of order. Uh huh. Um, yeah, so you have, Toronto, actually, you have Toronto missing the playoffs. Let's talk about that. I'm worried about their defense. That's that's my biggest concern for them because as of right now, and I haven't checked, so maybe I'm wrong, but their center back pair is Mavinga and Omar Gonzalez. And yeah. I believe that their backup is Zavaleta. And, and I think uh, and Julian a Don. youngster, right? Yeah. Yeah, Julian Dunn. Who's like seventeen, right? 20. Something like that. He's twenty. He's twenty. Okay, still, he's he's pretty young. Um, that just doesn't give me a lot of confidence, and I know that they performed very well last year. I think a lot of that had to do with Akinola and Alejandro Pazuelo. I'm thinking that teams are gonna start to learn Pazuelo and Akinola a bit better and start to deal with them a little bit more, and that's going to put more of the pressure on the defense. And I, I'm i not sold on Mavinga and Omar Gonzalez in the defense. I know fullback-wise, they're pretty good, but that's my concern for them. That's why I have them eighth. Interesting. Okay, I figure uh, the reason I have them fifth is because that, that reason is something I've been looking at for a while, but they've always found a way to get around it, so I'm not worried. If you had yeah. to pick... Well, one, okay, wait, I have one other thing. They also have a new coach now. They don't have Greg Vanny anymore. And sure, but it's Chris I'm Armas. Not sold up. I'm not sold out Chris Armas. Chris Armas to the moon, baby. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway. <laughs> if, you had, if you had to pick one team that you think you're going to be wrong on. Um, if you need time to I'm think. Gonna say, I'm going to say the Rebs. I'll say the Rebs. High or low? I think they can go higher. Okay. For me, I've got a team that I think is going to go higher and a team I think will go lower. I think Atlanta United, for me, is going to go higher. I'm at seven. I think they'll, they'll finish way higher than that. I just wasn't sure how quickly Yosef would be back, and we've seen that he's already back. So um, because of that, I think he go, they go much higher. Nashville at six, I think, go lower and might not make the playoffs because NYC are not as bad as I thought they were. If Red Bull pull Mark Anthony K, I think that automatically puts them in a, in a contention spot. I think Nashville's the odd team out in that spot. Yeah, I, to I, I don't totally disagree with you. In mine, yeah, if Red Bull pull Mark Anthony K, I'd probably bump NYC out of the playoffs and move Red Bull into that last spot. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, um, maybe oh. putting them ahead of Nashville, but to be honest, 6-7 probably not going to make much of a difference in the end anyway. Sure. Um, yeah, no, I think, I think there, there are some moves that still need to be made that has us up in the air. And when we watch this back at the end of the year and see that Red Bull went first in the East and won everything, we'll obviously have stuff to talk about, but, um, no, I agree. That, Ooh, Eastern Conference done. 